This year marks the start of a whole new and exciting part of One Piece, the Elbaf arc. Many people may not yet know how important this part is and what could happen. I have prepared five things that I think should happen in the Elbaf arc. Rumor has it that this arc will start in November. More info on that right after the intro. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. I wish you lots of fun. Many of you may have already heard. Last month, there was some news on the internet. A new One Piece character called Elbaf or Elban was announced by Shonen Jump. This is a magazine that often covers One Piece. I think it's realistic that we're already on our way to Elbaf in November, away from Egghead. You know, sometimes there are breaks, and then it might not continue until January. But when the Straw Hats, that's Luffy's pirate gang, finally arrive, there are a few things that I think need to happen on Elbaf. First, the Straw Hats will meet Jaguar D. Saul. He is also called Hakuri no Saul, which means Saul the Marked. He is a big giant and has a D in his name just like Luffy. Sol saved a lot of important information from Ohara before everything there was destroyed and brought this information to Elbaf. Now they call him the Scholar. The reunion with Robin will be very emotional because they knew each other before Ohara was destroyed. But has Sol changed? Does he know much more now because he has absorbed Ohara's knowledge for many years? He could tell us important things that we don't yet know in the story. He might even tell us the name of the Lost Kingdom if Vegapunk hasn't already done so. Saul is scarred by the events in Ohara, even though he was actually frozen. But he's not the man scarred by fire who possesses the last road poneglyph. However, I think Saul can help us understand how the ancient weapons are meant to be used and what they are for. These weapons are very powerful and can destroy a lot, as we saw with Uranus. We need more information about them. It's certain that the straw hats will hit Saul that's definitely going to happen. Next, the Straw Hats have to meet the Giants on Elbaf. That's clear, but I don't think it will be that easy. Loki, the leader of the Giants, could be difficult. There could be conflict. On the other hand, he could also be a big fan of Luffy, especially because Dory and Broji accompany Luffy to Elbaf as the sun god Nika. Maybe that's why Loki supports him. The legend of the sun god Nika has been told by the giants for many generations. We don't know whether Nika really existed. We only know that Joy Boy had Nika's powers. Perhaps Joy Boy brought this legend of Nika, the slave liberator, into a devil's fruit and was the first to have these powers. But we don't know for sure. Nika is a deity who doesn't necessarily have to have lived in the world of One Piece. We will definitely find out more about this story. We've already seen a bit of it in the flashback to Big Mum's time in Elbaf, but the giants need to tell us more. Maybe they know a lot about Joy Boy too, because these stories have been passed down from generation to generation among them. The giants are getting very old, about 160 years old, so it could be that the grandfathers of some of the giants still knew Joy Boy. We're sure to get more info, especially since Dory and Broji received Luffy as the sun god Nika on Egghead. Perhaps the most important thing is the meeting with the red-haired pirates. Guys, I've been thinking a lot about what this meeting will be like. In the end, it will probably be very different, because the creator of One Piece, Oda, always surprises us. But it's more likely than ever that the meeting will take place on Elba. Even though Oda surprised us on Wanokuni, Shanks' ship was there, you'd think they'd meet now. But no, even after defeating Kaido, Shanks still didn't want to see Luffy, but it will happen on Elbaf. Shanks was there and left. He might not be on Elbaf right now when the Straw Hats arrive, but I think he'll return while the Straw Hats are there. That's when the meeting will take place. Elbaf is certainly part of Shanks' territory. His ship, the Red Force, looks like a Viking ship. Many people think that Shanks is based on Norse mythology. I'm especially looking forward to Usopp meeting his father Yasop. That will be a special meeting. I just wonder if Luffy will give the straw hat back to Shanks, or if Shanks will tell him, keep it. After all, the hat is meant for Luffy. It doesn't make sense if the big inherited straw hat in the cellar, which probably belonged to Joy Boy, is a straw hat. Then of course the hat belongs to Luffy, and Shanks probably knew that back in the windmill village. I hope when they meet, Shanks explains what he knew and what he planned. That would be very interesting. One thing that definitely needs to be clarified on Elbaf is the search for the last road poneglyph. 
Where is it? Who has it? The man who is marked by fire, has a burn scar, and is sailing around in a black ship that sinks all ships that come near it in whirlpools. We don't know much about this ship. Shiryu has only thought that it might be a ship of the world government. The Straw Hats need to figure out what to look for, because this is the final piece of the puzzle to the One Piece. I imagine the battle between Luffy and the Blackbeard pirates is over the last road Poneglyph. Maybe Blackbeard has already found it. But the info on who has it and where it is, is crucial for the Straw Hats. Shanks was at the place where the last road Poneglyph was. He saw it. Maybe Shanks knows the coordinates. But I don't think Luffy would let Shanks just tell him where it is. This info needs to be cleared up on Elbaf. And then we should move on. Probably the whole world will be in chaos and a world war will break out. So it's hard to say if the story will just continue after that. Another important thing that should happen on Elbaf is the contact with the Revolutionary Army. Sabo was in the throne room and saw the Gorose, these are important people, in their true form and also Imu-sama, a mysterious person. Imu-sama attacked him and Sabo had the dying Cobra in his arms. Cobra told Sabo that Vivi also has a D in her name just like Luffy. Sabo is told to find Luffy and Vivi and tell them that. Now Sabo has gone to Dragon and the other members of the Revolutionary Army. I don't think they'll wait long to meet Luffy. Sabo will know that Luffy is going to Elbaf. Elbaf would be a good place for all the Revolutionary Army members, including Dragon, to meet Luffy. That would be possible and would be a good twist in the story. Elbaf could be the last safe place before the grand finale begins the last resting place before the big chaos, you could say. Maybe all of Luffy's allies gather on Elba, including his 5,600 people and the Revolutionary Army, and then they face the world government together. That was my original idea, but there's still One Piece and the Last Road Poneglyph. These things are important for the finale of the story, but I think Sabo will show up on Elba because Cobra told him to. He could get there on a crow wing from Karasu, that's possible. There's not much time left until Elba. This is almost the last chance to bring the last supernova into the story. Uruj is still missing. Perhaps he has settled on Elbaf. We don't know. He may come from the Burka kingdom. And the people on the moon were also called Burka. Maybe that could also bring Enel, a villain from before, back into the story. I hope so. But Uruj should show up soon now. Especially since he's the last of the supernova. Oda needs to get him in now that we've even seen Bonnie. It's realistic that Uruj will show up on Elbaf. Post your predictions for Elbaf in the comments. We'll be back soon. I'll keep you updated on all things One Piece when the new chapter arrives. You'll know all about it. Have a great day everyone.